What's up guys? As promised, I'd come on here to talk about uh, the Matt Olson extension. Happy dance, obviously. Uh, I'm gonna miss Freeman. There's nobody, <laughs> nobody's doubting that, nobody's discounting that, but I am a Matt Olson fan for many, many reasons. And watching his press conference just gave me the warm and fuzzies because it honestly feels like he's a brave through and through, even though he hasn't played a game yet. And I can't wait to see him <laughs> play a game because I think he's going to uh, eat, eat the chop house for breakfast um, and crush the ball and be phenomenal on defense. And that was another thing that I um, got from his press conferences. He didn't talk about the offensive numbers. Which are eye popping, as I discussed yesterday. 271, 100 runs, 100 RBIs, 88 walks, uh, 39 homers, which I'm going to predict now is probably going to be 45 if he gets on a binge and gets settled in. But just him being Atlanta Braves through and through, talking about memories, talking about Dansby and him going that we're supposed to go to. Uh, Vanderbilt and just seeing the joy and the want to be here and the culture that he has already created because he realizes what the Atlanta Braves organization is what they expect of him which is just to be Matt Olson and be amazing and he already is that um, so just be him and crush the baseball and um, be an elite defender which he is the value uh, he brings more value than the numbers, and we're going to see that because he just seems like a down-to-earth, um, knows he's not going to replace Freddie. Freddie is Freddie, and he's going to be an icon in Atlanta. I don't care where he goes. He's an icon in Atlanta, but Matt just being Matt and being able to have the peace of mind that he is going to be here. He is part of the core. He is... He's one of the guys and have that mental mental break, so to speak, knowing that he is safe, secure, and we, ble and we believe he is the best thing for the Braves organization right now. That is phenomenal. Uh, numbers, numbers notwithstanding, which they are eye-popping and amazing and, and joyous. And I just really appreciate that Matt understands the situation and his job is just to go out there and play baseball, have fun, and be the best Atlanta Brave he can be. And the value that AA put on that and the ability to quickly get it done, uh, it's given the fans peace of mind, the organization, the directions we're going, and the value that he's created in these long contracts, having Matt for nine years, having Ronald for seven, having Ozzy for six, having Riley for four, having Freed, Soroka for three each, and Ian Anderson for five, you really can't beat it. And I know, um, I know everybody is still a little stung by Freddie not being here, but you look at those uh, contracts that I just described in years, and you you can see it that this was the best baseball decision for the Braves, and I appreciate that AA it was a tough decision, but the right seemingly the right decision and I can't wait to see how it plays out I know we'll be competing in October uh, for many years to come the way this is set up now plus he continues to add because he gets team friendly deals he gets people that want to be here want to be a part of uh, creating um, championship legacies through the 20s we hope, like we did in the 90s. And Matt Olson is smack dab in the middle of that. And I just 
can't get enough of it. I really can't. And you look at the tough decisions that AA has had to make over the years. Um, Freddie being at the top, obviously. And then Josh Donaldson deciding not to give him, excuse me, the four, four, million, four years, excuse me, a hundred million that uh, he got from Minnesota. And now Minnesota shipped him off to the Yankees. And the Yankees have uh, $50 million, even though they can afford it. But we all know that Josh Donaldson isn't, um, is, it hasn't been able to stay healthy over the last few years. Oblique on the, on the opening day, I believe. And he had to go on the IL with Minnesota last year. So I'm not saying JD is not a great player, but choosing not to sign JD to that big contract still allowed for the extension for Matt Olson because you don't have 50 million tied to one player and it, <coughs> average average per year uh, is insanely phenomenal for all of those long contracts that I discussed earlier plus it's it's the moves you don't make that allow that allow you to branch out and do things like signing Matt Olson to this long deal. Um, like not trading Austin Riley because he couldn't hit a broadside of the barn in the first month of the season and just let him struggle through and he became a top third baseman and an MVP candidate and a key cog in our World Series champion and then not trading um, Ozzy Alves. I don't know if that was his decision or not, but the organizational decisions since Alex Anthopoulos has been um, been with the Braves is nothing short of incredible and king worthy, and the realization that he uh, understands that winning and Building a great culture and a great clubhouse are two of the most important things in baseball that uh, you can't discount, and Matt Olson fits that perfectly. I know a lot of us didn't see him in Oakland too much because of West Coast baseball, but he is uh, second to none, uh, first baseman-wise, human-wise, and obviously... Uh, it warms my heart that he's a big um, advocate for autism and, and things of that nature because because who who wouldn't love a guy like that and he's showing that being different is okay and that you can um, that you can be you and do what you want to do no matter what who or what you go through or who you are and that that is a person I can root for uh, every day of the week plus plus on Sunday and the the pure baseball decision was phenomenal but as I'm getting to know Matt Olson more personally and just the thing is I'm learning about him it's a thousand percent uh, a great person as well and a welcome to Atlanta. I can't wait till uh, the chop house. You have to pay the bills of the chop house windows because you break so many. And um, I can't wait till you pick a couple of Dansby's throws and Ozzy's throws so you can rag on them because it's going to be phenomenal watching you in a Braves uniform live out a childhood dream to make your own memories that we're all going to talk about for so many years to come. And... It couldn't have been a better day for the Braves organization. Um, I know there's been a lot of emotions for all of us, uh, obviously, but these are really, really happy emotions. And welcome to the A, Matt. I can't wait to uh, can't wait to go into battle with you and watch you watch you crush it because you're going to. Um, but as always. Go Braves. Uh, champions forever. Let's keep adding on, boys. Let's keep adding on. As always, go Braves.